ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to today's webinar on How to Meet and Exceed Your Sales Target, a practical step-by-step -step guide for sales executives. I'm your host, Tolu Olajide, and I'm thrilled to have you all here today. Before we dive into the exciting world of sales, let's take a moment to introduce ourselves and set the stage for an action-packed session. A little about me before we get started. I'm the founder of Oak LLC, a marketing and brand management agency established in Qatar. We provide business owners in their 40s and 50s with simple, uncomplicated marketing solutions that drive outstanding results for their businesses. But before then, I had been in sales and marketing for many years and have honed my skills in this area. And as a business owner, I receive a lot of emails, DMs, and phone calls from sales and marketing executives and I observed there was a knowledge gap in their approach and decided to do something about this. That was what led to my producing this webinar. As sales and marketing executives, you understand the critical importance of meeting and exceeding your sales targets. It's not just about hitting numbers. It's about maximizing your potential, driving revenue growth, and achieving professional success. In this webinar, we'll explore practical strategies and actionable steps that will empower you to take your sales performance to the next level and help you meet and exceed your sales targets. Get your writing materials ready as you will want to note some things down. And for those that will be staying on till the end of this webinar, we have some awesome resources that we will share with you during the Q&A session. So don't go anywhere. Ready? Let's get started. laying down the basics. Before we dive into today's discussion, I'll like to remind us of the basics of selling as that will set the foundation for today's webinar. A sale is nothing more than a transfer. It is a transfer of money for a product or service. It is important to understand this fundamental concept as it will shape our approach and the type of scripts or content we will use to make that sale happen. Sales and marketing go hand in hand. Sales and marketing have a collaborative relationship focused on generating revenue and driving business growth. Marketing generates leads through various channels which are then passed on to the sales team. Overall, effective marketing ensures that businesses attract clients who are a good fit, have higher customer lifetime value, and contribute to business growth. Focus on what makes customers more money. Customers will pay for the service that helps them make more money so it is very important to align your sales strategies with this principle. That should always be at the back of your mind when you go out and make your sales pitch using any strategy or platform, email, phone call, social media DM, paid ads, content creation, everything. The reason why you lose a sale is because you forgot to transfer one of the three T's, which we will delve into. The model remains the same. Advertise, capture lead, sell. The basic sales model consists of three key stages, advertising, lead generation, and closing the sale. Here's an outline of each stage. Advertising. In this stage, businesses promote their products or services to reach a wide audience. Various advertising channels can be utilized, such as digital marketing, print media, television, radio, or outdoor advertising. The goal of advertising is to create awareness, generate interest, and attract potential customers to the business. Lead generation. Once the advertising has captured the attention of potential customers, the next step is lead generation. Lead generation involves identifying and attracting individuals or businesses who have shown interest in the product or service. This can be achieved through various methods such as website forms, social media engagement, content marketing, email marketing, events, or referrals. The goal is to gather contact information and initiate communication with potential leads. Closing the sale. After generating leads, the focus shifts to converting those leads into paying customers. The sales team engages with the leads through various channels, such as phone calls, meetings, demos, presentations, or online interactions. The sales representatives use their product knowledge, persuasive skills, and value propositions to address the needs and concerns of the potential customers. The aim is to build trust, demonstrate the value of the product or service, and ultimately close the sale by securing a purchase or signed contract. It's important to note that the sales model can vary depending on the industry, business size, target audience, and specific sales strategies. 
However, the basic framework of advertising, lead generation, and closing the sale remains fundamental to the sales process. Please drop your questions in the chat box and we'll try our best to answer them all during the Q&A session. Now let's move on. Setting up your sales blueprint. A sales blueprint is a strategic plan that outlines the key elements and steps involved in achieving sales targets. It serves as a roadmap for sales executives, providing guidance on what to sell, who to sell to, where to find potential customers, and how to approach them. It doesn't have to be complicated. Here's how you can set up a simple sales blueprint. Identify what you're selling and the best margins. Determine the products or services you offer and analyze their profitability. Identify the offerings that have the highest margins and focus your sales efforts on promoting and selling those. Define your target audience or industry. Understand your ideal customers and the specific industry or market segments you want to target. This aspect is so fundamental and key, but a lot of marketers and sales executives leave this out. The result? A frustrating experience of poor sales and high-level stress. Spend some time getting this right and watch how easy it will be for you to close those sales. Conduct market research to identify the characteristics, needs, and pain points of your target audience. This doesn't have to be complicated depending on the size of your organization and the product or service you're offering. You can use surveys and questionnaires, conduct interviews with individuals from your target audience, utilize focus groups, use social media, listening to gather insights from conversations and interactions related to your industry or product, analyze data from your website traffic, encourage customers to provide feedback and reviews about their experiences with your product or service, study and analyze your competitors to gain insights into their target audience, review their marketing materials, social media presence, customer reviews, and website content, identify the gaps and opportunities that can help you differentiate your offerings and address unmet needs. Do not go marketing and sales prospecting blindly. Take time to do this research before you start reaching out to potential customers, and you will discover you'll spend less time, attract high-quality leads, and increase your chances of closing that sale in greater proportion. Find out where your target audience can be reached. You go where your customers are. This rule sounds so simple, but a lot of us miss it, and we keep prospecting to the wrong audience. The result? A great deal of frustration and stress with little or no sales. Determine the channels and platforms where your target audience is most active and receptive to marketing messages. This could include online platforms, industry events, trade shows, social media, or specific publications. Some could be emails, phone calls, SMS, WhatsApp, flyer distribution. Don't limit yourself. Find out your target audience's preferred mode of communication and focus on that. Craft your sales pitch. What are you going to tell them? Develop a clear and compelling value proposition that highlights the unique benefits and solutions your product or service offers. Create a sales script or message that effectively communicates the value of your offerings to potential customers. So let's recap the basic elements you need to have in your sales blueprint. 1. Identify what you're selling and the best margins. 2. Define your target audience or industry. 3. Find out where your target audience can be reached. 4. Craft your sales pitch. Remember, you get paid for results and not how much time you spent getting the results. So be smart about doing your job. Once you've gathered all the information we've discussed, you can now proceed to the next step, which is prospecting. Prospecting is the process of identifying and engaging potential customers or leads who are likely to be interested in your product or service. It involves actively searching for and initiating contact with individuals or businesses who fit your target audience criteria. The goal of prospecting is to generate new opportunities and build a pipeline of potential customers for conversion. Prospecting involves research, outreach, and relationship building activities across various channels. It aims to understand customer needs, present solutions, and move leads through the sales funnel. Successful prospecting helps businesses maintain a steady stream of qualified leads and opportunities for sales growth. There are several prospecting techniques you can use to identify and engage potential customers. Here are some effective methods. Networking. You can attend industry events, conferences, trade shows, and networking gatherings to connect with potential customers, engage in conversations, 
exchange contact information, and build relationships with individuals who may be interested in your product or service. Leverage professional networking platforms like LinkedIn to connect with prospects in your industry. You can also join local business networking organizations like your local BNI to build your professional network. Referrals. Ask your existing customers, colleagues, friends, and business contacts for referrals. Request introductions to individuals or businesses who might benefit from your offerings. Referrals often lead to high-quality leads as they come from trusted sources. Cold calling. Identify a targeted list of potential customers and reach out to them directly via phone calls. Develop a script or talking points to introduce yourself, explain your offerings, and gauge their interest. Personalize your approach and highlight the value you can bring to their business. Remember I mentioned at the beginning that we would be giving out free resources to participants that stay till the end of this webinar? Well, a time-tested and proven cold calling script is one of the resources we will be giving out. You don't want to miss this, so stay tuned to the very end of this webinar. Let's continue with highlighting the different prospecting techniques. Social media engagement. Utilize social media platforms to engage with potential customers. Join relevant industry groups, participate in discussions, and provide valuable insights or solutions. Connect with prospects on platforms like LinkedIn, Twitter, or Facebook by sending personalized messages. Another powerful resource we will be sharing with you will help you connect with prospects on LinkedIn like a pro. You can 5x your results with this powerful tool. Don't miss out as we will be revealing this at the Q&A session. Okay, let's move on to the other prospecting techniques. Content marketing. Create informative and valuable content related to your industry or area of expertise. Publish blog posts, articles, videos, or podcasts that address common pain points or challenges faced by your target audience. Optimize your content for search engines to attract potential customers who are searching for solutions online. Email marketing. Build an email list of interested prospects through opt-in forms on your website or landing pages. Send targeted and personalized emails to nurture leads and engage potential customers. Share valuable content, special offers, or invitations to webinars or events to generate interest and engagement. Online advertising. Utilize online advertising platforms like Google Ads, social media ads, or display ads to reach a wider audience. Target your ads based on demographic information, interests, or keywords relevant to your target audience. Drive traffic to your website or landing pages where prospects can learn more and take action. Remember, prospecting is an ongoing process. Continuously evaluate and refine your prospecting techniques based on feedback, data, and changing market dynamics. The key is to be proactive, persistent, and to offer value to potential customers throughout the prospecting journey. Now we have identified some different prospecting techniques. How do we utilize them? How can we prospect effectively? Let's move on to the next topic to discover just that. How to prospect effectively. Holding a conversation with a complete stranger can be very awkward, and many potential sales have been lost because we were not prepared to talk to that prospect. So how do we prospect effectively? You can prospect effectively by implementing the 90-10 formula. 90% of the time should be the potential customer talking, and you should only be talking 10% of the time. Remember, no stranger cares about you, they only care about themselves. So if you want them to know, like, and trust you, ask questions. 90% of what you say should be a question. If you need to make someone change their mind about something, they need to think it was their idea. 90% of the conversation needs to be around your product or service. Nothing kills a deal like time. If you spend the majority of the time talking about sports or family, you may indeed be their best friend, but you're not getting a customer. Do not confuse rapport with moving closer to that sale. By the time you bring up your product or service, they're fatigued and looking for a way out of that conversation. Avoid the urge to chime in and say things that make it about you, not them. Resist the urge so you don't end up taking over the conversation. Ask guiding questions. Nobody likes being convinced or sold to, so the only way is with guiding questions. Adopt the question framework using what, why, when, how, how long, how many, and would you. Remember, the key to be interesting is to be interested. I hope you've been gaining a lot from our discussion so far. Put in the chat box if you've been getting valuable information so far. Great. Now for your action steps. 
Use the question framework to draft questions related to your product or service. Practice the questions with a fellow sales colleague. Your goal. You have to keep them talking for at least three minutes. So, before we move on to the next stage, let's recap what we learned about prospecting. 1. Some prospecting techniques we can use are networking, referrals, cold calling, social media engagement, content marketing, email marketing, and online advertising. 2. You can prospect effectively by using the 90-10 formula and asking guiding questions. Don't forget to keep dropping your questions in the chat box and let us know if you're gaining valuable insight from this webinar. Thank you. Now let's move on to the next stage, how to make every single sale. For every sales executive, the million dollar question always is, how do I make every single sale? In the next few minutes, we'll be exploring a proven method that will allow you to close every single sale. This sales framework I'll be teaching you applies to all industries. Ready? Let's go. Before we dive in, let's remind ourselves of these golden rules. The objective of selling is to get your customer from where they are to where they desire to be, using your product or service as that bridge to get them there. So, think of your product or service as that bridge, and ask yourself these questions. Where is this customer now? What is his pain or excitement point? How can my product service get him across the bridge to his desired pleasure point? Customers will buy when one of two things happen. One. The pain of being where they are presently is so big that they need to move away from the pain. Two, they're so excited and see so much pleasure on the other side. If a prospect confidently believes that your product or service is the vehicle they need to get there, you will close that sale every single time. Now that we're clear about these rules, let's move forward. How do you make every single sale? Let's look at some ways to achieve this great feat. Adopt the three T's method. When setting up client meetings, either face-to-face, -face, online, or even by phone call, you need to ensure these three T's are in place. What are these three T's? Well, let's discover them. The three T's are transfer of confidence, transfer of trust, transfer of energy. How do we apply these when selling? Follow me as I unveil this in the next few minutes. Transfer of confidence. You can transfer confidence by using the three C's. Clarity, cadence, and certainty. Clarity. Be straightforward and easily understood by your client. Explain your product or service like you're talking to a fifth grader. Remember, a confused mind never buys. Cadence. Deliver your message in a prepared and organized manner. Be composed, don't stammer. Outline your script and practice out loud several times till you're confident and comfortable with it. Certainty. Talk to your customer with conviction and belief. Eliminate I think, maybe, um from your vocabulary. Transfer of trust. How do you transfer trust? Talk less. Ask more questions. The more you can get your prospect to talk, the more open they feel, and the more likely you are to close that deal. Never give out wrong information. If you do, you've lost their trust and you've lost that sale. Look presentable. Most people decide they're going to do business with you in the first few moments of meeting you. People decide they trust you by the way you look. Smile and have good body language. Give gratitude. Gratitude should be sincere and authentic. It's important to genuinely appreciate the prospect's time and engagement rather than using gratitude as a mere formality. By expressing gratitude during a prospect meeting, you create a positive and appreciative atmosphere, fostering stronger connections and building rapport with potential customers. Here are some ways you can show gratitude. Express thanks for their time. Begin the meeting by acknowledging and thanking the prospect for taking the time to meet with you. Let them know that you value and appreciate their willingness to engage in a conversation. Appreciate their insights and input. During the meeting, actively listen to the prospect and show genuine appreciation for their thoughts, opinions, and feedback. Acknowledge their expertise and contributions and express gratitude for their valuable insights. Show appreciation for their consideration. If the prospect raises objections or requests more information, respond with gratitude for their engagement. Thank them for their questions, concerns, or suggestions as it demonstrates their interest and investment in the conversation. Follow up with a thank you note. After the meeting, send a personalized thank you note or email to express your gratitude for the opportunity to meet and discuss their needs. Reiterate your appreciation for their time, input, and consideration. Offer assistance and support. 
show gratitude by offering your ongoing support and assistance. Let the prospect know that you are available to address any further questions, provide additional information, or offer guidance throughout their decision-making process. Demonstrating a helpful attitude reinforces your gratitude for their consideration. Don't forget to keep dropping your questions in the chat box and let us know if you're gaining valuable insight from this webinar. Thank you. Okay, let's look at the last T, transfer of energy. Energy is contagious. If you want your prospects to be excited, you need to be excited. If you're speaking over the phone, smile. Remember, nobody buys when they're bored. So be enthusiastic and positive during sales interactions. Now for our action steps, practice these three T's every single day and score yourself from one to five, with five being the highest. When you're able to score yourself a five in all three categories, almost every single time, you will close that deal every time. Closing that sale. In order for you to close that sale, you need to get the answers to these five questions from the client. What challenges are you currently facing right now that made you interested in this product or service? What will life be like when those problems are gone? What stopped you from solving these problems earlier? How important is it for you to fix these problems? And why? How fast do you want it fixed? When you're able to get the prospect to answer these questions, you greatly increase your chances of closing that sale. Find a way to get these questions across using the 90-10 approach we discussed earlier. Action steps. Practice role-playing these five questions for your industry with a sales colleague at your office till you're really great at this. Overcoming sales objections. Okay, you've done everything perfectly. Followed all the steps. And at the end of the day, the prospect gives you a polite no or raises some objections to your pitch. How do you deal with this scenario? Do you just say okay and leave? Well, let's discuss this further. First off, understand that objections arise when the resistance outweighs the excitement. In other words, what they need to do in order to get that product or service will take so much effort from them that it stops being worth it for them. The value exchange for them is off. This feels like that to them at times because you're not going deeper. I'll explain further. You see, sometimes the prospect has some reservations about the product or service they're not telling you, so you need to find a way to probe further to get to the core objection without being aggressive. This is where the seven layers of why technique comes into play. This technique is perfect when you want to uncover the core objection. Here's how it works. Ask the prospect questions, starting with why, seven times. And observe the changes between the first why and the seventh why. And in between, there is why you're missing all your sale. For example, if they say, well, I'm not ready yet. You can start your first why question by asking, why are you not ready yet? Take up the next why from the next answer they provide till you are able to uncover the real objection. Then you can address that real objection and work on closing the sale. The only true objection that you're facing is not getting down to the core why and addressing it. Note that this approach may feel awkward at the start, so it's best to practice asking the why questions with familiar people first. Also, note that when talking with complete strangers, they will be very guarded when you start asking the why questions that probe deeper into their motive. Be authentic and genuine without being pushy and rude. Remember, it's not an interrogation, it's a conversation. Action steps. Practice asking seven whys on any topic with someone you are familiar with. List out a series of probing questions about your specific product or service and practice with your colleagues. Now, when you've been able to uncover the actual objection, what should you do? Well, you again reattempt to close the sale using these three questions as a framework. These questions are designed to help overcome hesitation and facilitate the closing process. 1. What is that challenge costing you? Mention the challenge you uncovered when you asked the why questions. 2. How soon would you like that problem solved? And 3. First name. What should we do from here? Action steps. Modify the questions to suit your product or service and practice asking them. Let's recap what we learned in this section. 1. 
the golden rules of sales. 2. How to make every single sale using the three T's method. 3. How to close that sale by getting answers to five specific questions. 4. Overcoming sales objections. That's all we have for you on this topic today, and I want to thank you all for your participation and engagement during this webinar. Before we move on to the Q&A session, let's quickly recap all we've learned. 1. We looked at how to set up your sales blueprint and the basic elements that you should include in this blueprint. 2. We discussed the various ways you can prospect effectively. 3. We gave you strategies to use in closing your sale every time. 4. We looked at ways you can overcome sales objections. 5. We provided action steps for all areas touched upon so you can practice and start winning immediately. I would like you to remember that to make sales, you need to get out of your comfort zone, do your homework, follow the steps, and practice daily till you are an expert. Then practice some more. Lastly, never start your selling process without a plan. Ensure you have your scripts ready for every stage of the funnel and practice till you never lose a sale. Now it's time for our Q&A session. We will be answering the questions in the chat box. Please feel free to drop any questions you may have there as well. We will do our best to answer all questions raised. But before we start answering questions, I will like to give you all the cold calling script I promised as a thank you to all that stayed till the end of this webinar. The link has been dropped in the chat box. Please click on it and download it now. This offer is only available during this webinar. Thank you again for your participation. There was another powerful resource I promised to unveil to you during the Q&A session. This resource is designed to help sales and marketing executives outperform their targets using LinkedIn DM. Trust me, you will increase your close rate by more than 90% with this resource. And there will be no more ghosting. Introducing LinkedIn DM Power Scripts. Boost your engagement and results. LinkedIn DM PowerScripts is a game-changing solution designed exclusively for sales executives and marketing executives like you who are looking to make a significant impact on LinkedIn. With our powerful collection of DM script templates, you can effortlessly craft compelling and engaging messages that will captivate your target audience, drive meaningful conversations, and achieve remarkable results. Elevate your LinkedIn outreach game with our LinkedIn DM Power Scripts. Click the link to get yours at Founders Price available only for webinar participants. Now, let's go back to our Q&A session. Don't forget to get your LinkedIn Power Scripts using the link on the screen or in the chat box to get yours at Founders Price. Once the webinar ends, the price reverts back to its full value, so don't miss out. We have a question here from Mark. How can I effectively identify my target audience for my sales efforts? To effectively identify your target audience, start by analyzing your existing customer base and identifying common characteristics such as demographics, behaviors, and pain points. Conduct market research to gain insights into your industry and target market. Utilize tools like customer surveys, interviews, and data analytics to gather information. Refine your target audience by focusing on those who are most likely to benefit from and be interested in your product or service. This is from Jenny. What are some effective strategies for generating high-quality leads? Effective lead generation strategies include leveraging digital marketing channels like content marketing, search engine optimization, SEO, social media marketing, and email marketing. Create valuable and engaging content tailored to your target audience's needs and pain points. Use lead capture forms, landing pages, and calls to action on your website to gather contact information. Develop lead nurturing campaigns to build relationships with leads over time. Referrals and networking are also powerful ways to generate high-quality leads. How can I overcome common objections during the sales process? This question is from Ahmed. Overcoming objections requires active listening, empathy, and addressing the prospect's concerns. Anticipate common objections and prepare responses in advance. Understand the objection and ask probing questions to uncover the underlying reason behind it. Then, address the objection by highlighting the value and benefits of your product or service. Use social proof, case studies, or testimonials to build trust and credibility. Be prepared to provide solutions or alternatives that meet the prospect's needs and address their objections. Another question. What are some best practices for closing deals and securing sales? 
Closing deals successfully involves building rapport, understanding the prospect's needs, and effectively communicating the value of your offering. Maintain open and clear communication throughout the sales process, addressing any questions or concerns the prospect may have. Create a sense of urgency by highlighting the benefits of acting now. Use closing techniques like assumptive closes, trial closes, or offering limited time promotions. Always be transparent and ensure that the prospect understands the terms and conditions of the sale. This is the last question we'll be taking. How can I measure the success of my sales efforts and track my progress towards meeting sales targets? Key performance indicators, KPIs, can help measure the success of your sales efforts. Common KPIs include conversion rate, average deal size, customer acquisition cost, and sales revenue. Use Customer Relationship Management, CRM, software or sales tracking tools to monitor and analyze your sales data. Set specific and measurable sales targets aligned with your business goals. Regularly review and analyze your sales metrics to track progress, identify areas for improvement, and make data-driven decisions to optimize your sales performance. Thank you all for joining us today. I hope you found this webinar insightful and valuable for your sales career. Remember, by applying the practical steps and strategies we discussed, you have the power to meet and exceed your sales targets. Also, don't forget to download your free cold calling script as well as our LinkedIn DM power scripts. Don't miss this opportunity to supercharge your LinkedIn DM marketing efforts. Click on the link and get yours at Founders Price right now. Once again, thank you for your time and participation. We wish you all the best in your sales endeavors. Keep pushing forward and exceeding your sales targets. Goodbye and take care.